Hello heroes, Joe Smith here again. Welcome back. This is part two of the two-part Iowa movie segment here that Joe Smith is doing. Part one, we talked about past Iowa movies. Uh, some of them are a little bit older, some 30 years old now. Um, if you haven't seen them, you might want to check them out. Um, and then I also kind of talked about how... Joel Smith had visited some of the locations for, for how they took place uh, near uh, Joel Smith's hometown. Well, this is a new movie just made uh, by Joel Smith's hometown. And in the score, the gymnasium that Joel Smith actually played junior high basketball and went to school at. It's uh, called New Providence. It's about the end of Iowa's six on six girls basketball uh, how they used to do it years ago um, was they'd have like three girls on one half the court and three girls on the other half of the court for both teams and so three girls were always on defense for the team and three girls were always on offense for the team and then they did they substituted in and out too in that but, but um if uh, you would like get rebound or something, instead of running all the way down the court, uh, you just like run to half court and then hand it off to someone on the other half of the court on your team, or else you would like uh, throw it to half court where you had a teammate waiting, and and then they would take the ball the rest of the way and and play offense on the other half of the court. It's kind of interesting to watch growing up. It was. It's kind of the thing, or that it's like, you know how football is to Texas or Alabama, and and basketball is to Indiana. Well, at the time, like years ago, um, six on six girls basketball was like the thing in Iowa that people actually, a lot of people actually used to watch girls basketball. I mean, uh, high school girls basketball in Iowa used to have better ratings than the WNBA. But then, uh, just about any sport in Iowa had better ratings than the WNBA for that matter, but on with the show. Here's the uh, trailer preview. Seen that? No. Nope. Well, I think you can study up on your flight. I want you there ASAP. Ken, I'm not going to the middle of Look, Iowa. You work here, right? You're a reporter. You have a story. You go write it. My name's Jimmy. There's a girls' basketball team here I'd like to see. Oh, yeah? Where's that? I'm a writer. Do you read? Well, I'm in the best room you got. Well, then you want me to come. It's quiet, I hope. I'll be working. Oh, yeah, it's very quiet. Well, except for the highway, that's not quiet at all. But other than that, you can hear a pin drop. Uh, here's a little bit on the backstory of the movie. Um, Ash, um, the movie takes place in like 1993. That was actually the time, it was like 92 or 93, when the New Providence Junior High School closed down. Uh, 
and actually at the time they were not actually playing high school games in the gym pictured in the movie. Uh, that's the actual New Providence gym in the movie that Joe Smith here played 7th uh, and 8th grade basketball and gym class and all that and back in uh, junior high and had a uh, junior high school next to it that Joe Smith went to for 6th, 7th and 8th grade. Uh, back in the 70s, uh, New Providence consolidated schools with Eldora and the elementary and high school were in Eldora. The junior high, or it used to be a K-12 building in New Providence, just became 6th, 7th, and 8th in uh, New Providence there. So all the New Providence kids, which there wasn't much because the town was like 500 people, uh, would go to elementary and high school in Eldora, and any Eldora junior high kids, 6th, 7th, and 8th, would be bused to... Uh, New Providence, which was actually only about 10 miles away, or 15, it was about a 15-minute bus ride, or 15, 20 minutes, something like that. So it wasn't like really that big of a deal. It's like about 15-minute bus ride each morning and then each afternoon. Um, considering like cities around here, it's like a lot of people in town ride the bus that long to go to school around here nowadays, as big as the city is. But, so actually in reality, the movie, though based on actual sport that used to be in Iowa back in the day, is pretty fictional. Uh, last time high school basketball was actually played in that gym was probably in the 70s, not 1993, in the 70s probably. So, uh, some like 20 years prior was last time that gym saw high school games, but it did see uh, boys and girls uh, junior high games until the uh, school closed in like 93 uh, when Eldora uh, built a new high school building and then the old high school in Eldora became the junior high. Uh, there were some people that were looking, or a company that was looking at renting uh, neighboring towns old high school building for their offices and, and a warehouse or something for their uh, inline skating roller skating company to like so inline skates uh, the company and people were from California but then when the people that managed the New Providence school heard that they were interested in uh, leasing or purchasing that building for their offices. They offered the New Providence School building to them on a five-year lease for a grand total of one dollar. Yes. 500 person or less down New Providence so desperate to get a big company to uh, use their old school they leased it for five years for a dollar. Not a dollar a year, a dollar for five years. And then the people that ran that business, the uh, guy that owned that business, he came up with the idea, later came up with the idea for this movie, uh, did the story, the screen, the play, the uh, writing, whatever it's called, and then spent the next 15 years, yes, 15 years he spent trying to uh, push it, get someone interested in uh, uh, producing it, directing it, all that, to actually turn it into a movie. He was about ready, gave up, and he didn't really talk about it at all for a year or two, and then tried like one last time, and then he was actually able to find just some people, a small production company, independent film production company, interested in turning to a movie. So they spent uh, 2019 and then uh, COVID, they got a little delays and but over like 2019 and 2020 uh, they finally got it all done and uh, got this uh, uh, interesting little movie made. So can't wait to see it. Um, so Tim, that Joe Smith here is very familiar with, of course, went to school there. They've since tore down the 
school building that was next to it, but the roundhouse gym, the building is brick and round. Uh, so that was kind of a interesting feature. Probably why they kind of picked this gym over other gyms around Iowa. That actually, like, like the Eldora gym, which was like newer and bigger and nicer. And actually did have girls high school games. And in fact, uh, that was one of Joel Smith's uh, first jobs in elementary was uh, working the concession stand, running the register, or getting drinks and hot dogs for uh, people watching the game. Uh, Joel Smith kind of did that in like third, fourth, and uh, fifth grade in elementary. So yeah, Joel Smith, you know, run a register and count change in third grade. Unlike 18 and 20 year olds nowadays at McDonald's. Uh, you could go to uh, New Providence Movie. Dot com, find out a little bit more about it, do a search for it on um, YouTube if you want to watch the uh, trailer again. <laughs> oh, and also, uh, in the movie trailer, it showed a, a motel. Uh, New Providence does not have a motel. The uh, looks like they use probably some uh, stock video of like a motel sign from somewhere else or that. But the uh, inside of the motel room looked like the uh, Eldora Motel that uh, Joe Smith's aunt, mom's older sister, actually owned for a while when Joe Smith was just a little kid before uh, they sold it and uh, moved out of state. But uh, New Providence has actually been featured on the news uh, couple other times over the years prior to this movie uh, there's probably still on YouTube but they made headlines because they had a well couple freak accents uh, they had um, well they're like building a new water tower and it collapsed while they're building it um, forget if anyone was hurt or killed or I think it was just some minor injuries, maybe. <coughs> but that actually made, like, uh, one of the world's uh, craziest video show on, like, Fox or that uh, several years ago. And then another thing that happened, uh, um, the son of uh, one of Joe Smith's uh, school teachers, uh, that uh, mom and us actually babysat him. Uh, when he was a baby, him and his older sister, we babysat. He was like uh, working in one of the grain bins on their farm and uh, fell into the corn and started getting sucked down into the corn. And they had to do like this uh, uh, big rescue effort. They were eventually get him out and save his life for that. But it actually was like a, like a one hour or 90 minute uh, documentary special on ABC News uh, several years ago too. So, uh, and then the, the mom, the teacher, uh, wrote a book about it that's available on Amazon. But uh, Annette Baker is a teacher, the mom, and then was uh, Aaron... Baker, I believe his name was, um, was the boy. Uh, he was like in high school at the time, of course, and he's even older. He's like all grown up now, but this happened when he was like in high school or that. So that was like a tragic event. And then to actually see uh, like a, a new special on national TV about it was just kind of 
uh, really like unique and interesting and all that. But actually, uh, uh, volunteered uh, for Bible school at church and uh, for, uh, when for his class when he was in Bible school or him and his sister and then we babysat them for a few years. And I watched both of them from babies to elementary school, watch them grow up and learn how to crawl and walk and all that, so it's kind of, just kind of hearing that someone that, a baby that we took care of almost was killed in a freak accident, that was kind of scary, but glad he made it, it's okay and all that. So uh, if you're interested, uh, uh, Google that and you probably can find that uh, new special on TV or on the internet here somewhere and watch it if you're interested but uh thanks for thanks for watching these two they're something a little bit different here uh just doing this with a cell phone camera so sorry it's a little shaky and crappy or that um but thanks for watching check these movies out um haven't found the full movie for New Providence online yet hey we're not even sure if it's been released yet. Going to have to do some research. Um, like, subscribe, ring that bell. See you next time. Joe Smith signing out.